Hello everybody, it's Judas Free Time here. Uh, we're Sean. Um, <laughs> the last video we did was about um, Rick Productions' video or whatever. He's done a response and I have to say it is the most fucking gaslight in this video we've ever seen in our lives. It's honestly so silly. Now, he, he basically talks about how he's not an animal abuser. What do you reckon to this story? Uh, I mean, like, if you watch the video, I don't know, seriousness for a second, if you watch the video, you can clearly, like, hear the dogs. I, it just occurred to me now that, now, upon re-listening to the footage, we can literally hear the dogs skidding across the floor. That doesn't, that doesn't sound like any type of animal discipline I've ever heard of. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Didn't we hear the dog whine as well in the last one? I'm not, I'm not sure if I heard the dog whine or not, but all I know is I did hear it like skid across the floor. Now, we're going to play the video, but we're not going to play it in front on the screen. We'll just, I'll let, we'll, um, we'll uh, let you be the judge of the audio and see how it works. Now, there is a few things we need to point out, and that is all Rick does is in, the, in this is try and just use docs, attacks, and talking about his bullshit. So let's, let's just watch this. Hi everyone on YouTube, uh, Rick Productions here, uh, I don't know how I'm talking at the moment because I've just seen a video of JJ Free Time saying I'm uh, a dog producer. Uh, in that video you, you said about my past and everything else is I haven't pointed everything, Rick. Not true at all. Um it's not true that you came over to my house and took control of the entire scenario. You know we'll think about that one. Uh true bit is my husband is in prison, but it's not for that. So what's it for then? If if he's in prison, he'd mention what it is. Um, I'm not going to bring up exactly what the secret is exactly. Uh, actually, I won't. Um, but I have a feeling it might be that, because the way you've just gaslighted that scenario, it just looks like to me that sort of thing. Yeah. Rick, if you're gonna do a video like this, please don't just just don't shoot yourself in the foot like this. It's not wise, all right? Uh, I love my dog to bits. I really do. I I got him lying right next door to me now. Um, I'm stroking him because just because you're stroking him doesn't mean you're not a dog abuser. Well, I think think of this dog. He's a beautiful dog. I love him to bits. But he is just a hand, handful some days. All dogs are handful, Rick. It's something you have to put up with. You don't throw your dog across the fucking room like that and let him skid across the floor like that. That is an animal abuse attack. So, JJ, if you're watching this, I am not, I, I am going to respond to that video, what you've just made, because... Yes, this is what we're doing, we're responding in a conversational manner. I think it's a load of crap, myself. <laughs> what I did there, it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard at all. It sounded hard to me, the way you pushed him. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like a, a gentle move across, it was a... It was a th it sounded like a thud, and like, and like as I listened back, Rick, I could hear your dog skid across. Lots, I could hear what sounded like your dog skidding across the kitchen floor. Now, just because he's hard work, Rick, doesn't mean you have to throw him across the room like all that. Pet, all pets are hard work. I should know, I... Well, Jacob may not have had a pet, but I have. I, honest, I have a German Shepherd, I grew up with him, like... He literally belonged to, what's name, another family member. I got him when I was 11. 
I grew up with a big, humongous German Shepherd, beautiful dog, so I know the responsibilities of taking care of a dog, right? And you mentioned that I haven't had a pet before, but who says I won't get one? And another thing, if I could, if I was allowed to have a pet in this flat, I probably would do, so... You haven't got a fucking clue. Uh... It was only a little push. I am not a dog abuser at all. My video proves otherwise, the way you just skidded him across the floor like that. Uh, as you can see, the washing machine's on at the moment, spinning. That's why I'm out here. And uh, I love my dog to bits, but some days, if you say that I'm, I'm a dog abuser, why are you ever stuck on a dog? Now we've played this sentence about four fucking times now and we don't understand what the fuck he's talking about. No, no, I literally can't, like, I don't know if, it, I don't know if it's just me or us, but what I can hear is if we haven't got a dog, like, plus the lot of the dog, that's all I can hear. So, you know, it will, if you're probably going to respond to this, so explain what the fuck that word meant, please. You asked me that question. Okay, why have you... I don't know what the fuck you were talking about. Please be more specific. Because I can... Because I know where you live. Ooh, I know where you live at all, you little prick. I know exactly where you live. If we're going to use this tactic, don't, because yeah. you don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, Rick, Rick, words of advice. Don't, don't ever use threats like that. <coughs> It's yeah. against terms of the conditions on YouTube anyway. Exactly. Don't ever, like, yeah. Yeah. You don't know. You know where I live, but you don't know if I've moved or not, which I haven't. But, mm. you know, I could have moved, you know, but you haven't. But, uh, yeah. What I also want to know is, Rick, why is your husband in prison? Is he abusive piece of shit like we made it out to be? And is he a, um, as well, that I'm not going to say on camera? Because, you know, begs the question, doesn't it? I, I like to start come up, but... You can come up all you want, Rick, but I won't answer the door to you. And if you try anything stupid, <laughs> I have defence, mate. I have loads of it. Try it. I know that sounds like a threat on camera, but it's true. I've got plenty of defence out here. You may not see my new stuff, but I've got loads of it. And i also got the cops on my door as well, that it can help me with that. Think about that one. I'm not going to because I'm not that sort of person. You're not that sort of person, are you? So why the fuck were you like this then? In Skype where you kept uh, pissing me off by begging me, begging me to be your fucking friend every five seconds. Why was you doing that, Rick? Hmm? Because you're a fucking piece of shit and you stalk people. And, uh, Max, come here, baby. Set, set. I love The dog is looking at you like something. I don't know what. Mm. Now Rick, just because you love a dog, doesn't mean you can't abuse it. It's possible to abuse dogs and love a pet at the same time. I mean, Anision had a couple of pets, right? He abused the shit out of them, and, but still uh, liked them. Yeah, let's not forget the whole turtle incident involving him. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you, you're, not, you're not off the hook here. I'm a dog to bit. I really do. But... Yeah, it's only 11 months old. And I'm sorry. 11 months old. That, I think that's what it's trying to say. You've seen that on the, on, one of the, on one of the videos. But... He can be a bit of a handful. I'm not trying... Your Jake was a bit of a handful. Pudov is a bit of a handful. But do you see you doing that to it? No. No, you don't fucking do that, Rick. To be a dog abuser, he is a bit of a handful because 
Oh, pets are handfuls. That's what you got to learn, Rick. When you buy a dog or a cat or whatever, you're gonna have to sign the contract of that. That of life. You know, if he's a bit of a handful and you can't put up with it, give him to the RSPCA, Rick. If you can't put up with it, let's continue. Uh, I've just lost my husband. And you haven't lost him, he's just in prison. Or is he home? I don't know. It's the worst thing, nasty things about me. I can come, I can tell you now, I've got everything on my mind to say about you. About me? What have I done? I mean, all I've really done is told you to fuck off and stop being so abusive to your pet. You know, all the times you fucking stalk the shit out of me, I have a lot more to say to you. That you're... You're dealing with a lot of stress on your mind. And that... Yeah, dealing like a lot of stress on my mind, who isn't, and... Yeah, not to mention depression and all that, and look, what I need right now is you to fucking, you know, try to bug the shit out of me years ago. Yeah, that's what I fucking well needed. Great, Rick. I am at the moment, I, I can see that. But I'm not a dog abuser at all. I love my dog to bits. Uh, you can see, see there, I got loads of food for him. If I, if you, that. Rick, just because you can feed him food and all that sort of stuff doesn't automatically take you away from the dog abuse story. Um, you could love him, you could feed him loads of treats, but it's not good enough. You can still abuse pets. Now true, I do admit, you know, you are somewhat looking after that dog. But you're not, you're not getting it, Rick. Abuse is... Not just not feeding your pet, or not loving your animal. Dog abuse, and many other abuse, happens when you push them away or smack them behind the doors. That's what you don't get, Rick. What's the dog abuse, huh? I wanna have all that food there. And let me tell you another fucking story. My Aunt Sandra has like three or four dogs now. And there's only two of them living there. But do you see them bitching and moaning about anything like this? No. They get on with it. He eats every day. He comes on my bed every night and covers up. Because you're the only one that's fucking closest as a human being that's looking after him. If he could, he would probably run away. Against me? You don't have no clue about, about everything about me. So stop no, but I have a good hint of what's going on. Or, or this argument. And let me get on with my life and I'll let you get on with your life. You didn't before. And I'm not being nasty. Hmm, doesn't sound like it. But if you're gonna... If you're gonna win the RSPCA, then I will win up about you, about your de deals. So please. What fucking deals? What deals? You're just, it's just typical gaslighting now, this is. You mean, you've been dealing with the feminazi mafia? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I have a secret drug deal around the corner. You've been selling them illegal tampons again. <laughs> Oh dear, you caught me, Rick. What am we gonna so do now? Those fake, those fake counterfeit illegal tampons from China. <laughs> that <laughs> literally explode. Was it? Was dog protection just drip through and leave a trail of blood everywhere? What a lovely image. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, at least we're laughing about this. You've got nothing, Rick. You've got nothing, and to be honest, you've got more on you than I've got more on me. If that makes sense. <sighs> Typical gaslighting, eh, Sean? For the best. I am not... I am not 
happy about this, what you've just done. Uh, pulling a video out there about me. I'll be putting up a video about you, Rick, because it's been on my mind for fucking ages. Plus the fact that you abusing this dog was not making me very happy. So, yeah. What do you think to that? Uh, I don't care about your uh, YouTube account. I don't care mm. about my YouTube account. I got 300 subscribers and I bought a new washing machine for it. Mm. And that's why I did. As you can see, the dishwasher as well. And, but I am not a dog abuser. At all. The more you say you're not a dog abuser, the more I'm not convinced. And that's just the truth of it. He comes to my bed every night. Ew! <laughs> Don't say that, Rick! It's gross! <laughs> Up to me under the blankets. Oh, he comes onto the blankets. Oh, that's even more gross. <laughs> It looks like it the way it comes under your bed. <laughs> sorry, but we are, we are trying to make light of this situation. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, this, this is getting serious now. It's actually, no, oh, okay, you're you see this bone. That's fine. So if you got anything to say, just say it in the comments. Uh, and I will just not reply to your things. So just leave me alone, please judge your ass free time. You, you said that you wasn't going to reply and then you say you was going to reply at the beginning. It's kind of contradicting your statement really. Because I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, if I'm going to get flagged from this, you can do whatever you want. Because I am not a dog abuser. Who mentioned about getting flagged? Oh well. At all. No way at all. I love my dog to bits. Come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. I love kissing him. That's not, that's not dog abuse. I love my dog. You don't even know what what it's like to have a dog. No, but you never know when I'll get one, do you? With you 24, 24 hours a day without your husband with you. Well, that's the life you fucking chose, Rick. You've chose the wrong husband uh, for whatever he's done. Because if he is fucking innocent like you say he is, he wouldn't be in prison now, would he? Now, what is he in prison for? That's what I want to know. Mm. I don't give a fuck much. Yeah, he's in prison. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's hard for me to do things on my own. It is. That's the life you chose, I'm afraid. I live on my own most of the time throughout the couple of years, and I understand that statement, but it's the life you choose. And, you know. I get them really hard. I, I clean, I cook, I feed the dog. I'm not coping with the situation about my husband at the moment, but please stop. Stop all this argument with me and my husband, because it's not fair. Because I, I will come up there, because I just don't know where you live. Bring it on, bitch. I, I, I drive now. So oh, la la, I drive now. Fucking hell, what's I got to do with it? I won't give a shit if you took the fucking public transport, Rick. I can drive the car all the way up there. So please don't. I don't want to come out. You'll be wasting your fucking time. I won't answer the door anyway. 
Pastor no be you are. Pastor won't still wanna be friends with you, but <laughs> I don't wanna be your fucking friend anymore if you're this much of a prick. You're gonna be like this with me all the time then. That's fine. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm sorry about that cut there. Um the battery's a bit faulty, I've got to get yeah. it replaced. Uh, Rick, Rick. When I said like when I said in that video that your videos left me in stitches, I didn't mean it in the way you think. <laughs> I meant it in the way and meant in the way that what's her name? I meant that it's <laughs> We weren't laughing with you, we were we're laughing, laughing at you. We were laughing at you. Like I the the best thing most comical thing video you think you ever do was that fucking what's the name that fryer video, where you where you just basically fucking struggle to like stick the fucking thing to like the, the fryer, and you just start and you start bitching and moaning and mind you and mind just descend into an argument. <laughs> that just that, that just sent me to absolute hysterics, mate. And oh. I can, and I have, and I have the right to laugh at it, you know, because common sense dictates that. If me and Jacob had an argument on camera, you we edit it out. You you just simply edit it out. You don't leave shit like that like on like that on show to the public. And, I, and the way I see it, because you left it in there, I have every right to mock and ridicule it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but if you leave shit in there, then of course, and of course, people are going to mock and deride and laugh at it. Anyway, I'm going to press the record button now, and hopefully, it won't cut out when I move it. Yeah. Right there, we are back in the What's right that? place. It didn't cut out. Yeah, there. No, for once. Anyway, let's finish this train wreck. Because I, I like you to respond to my channel some days and um, I'm I'm a lot happier I'm a lot calmer now because that day I was stressed I was stressed I'll tell you okay. you may have been stressed Rick but you don't take it out on people it's been about two weeks now without my husband here so yes it is hard work I'm Having a dog and keeping this place running is hard. It's hard work, but I'm doing okay. So please, Judge the Street, and don't say it. say anything about me ever again. Saying I'm a dog abuser, because I'm not. I love my dog. You look very calm. He lied when you fucking respond with fucking attacks back like that. That just shows to me that you are a fucking dog abuser in disguise and you're hiding a shit ton more than me. Just saying. I didn't do it out of attack, I did it out of, well, stress mostly. And I did it mostly because I don't like people that abuse animals like that. <laughs> just because you feed a dog doesn't automatically not mean you're not a dog abuser as I mentioned many fucking times. Up to bits. When when I saw that video, I started crying. Ah, oh, poor you. He, I did not hurt him at all. He did not even go to the walls. He Are you sure about that? I mean, I heard a bit of a bang. Uh, it's synthetic squash. Next session is synthetic squash. Hey. So there you go. Just bang. So please. It was a bang. Just though. stop the aggro and let's get on with our lives. That's it. That's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. No, thank you. And I'm telling you. So that was the train wreck response video and all we have to say is gaslighting over and over again that's all we have to say mm -hmm. um someone that says they're not a dog abuser 50 million times doesn't convince me at all it even makes me more aware that they're more of a dog abuser the way they're going now your turn i'm still perplexed as to, as to what as to precisely what his husband was sent to prison for we have a couple of things, but we're not going to say here. No, no, because like I said, it could...
You say could be wrong, could yeah. be wrong, could be wrong, but this doesn't help his case. No. To be honest, you go on about I've uh, mentioned your past, but we only mentioned only probably half of it. We got loads more. But if you have to, you have to. Um, you know, I haven't said it all yet, so just be glad I haven't. Um, you can give me all the threats you want that you're coming over here, you've got to get something involved with me, but what can I be doing legally wrong, apart from TV licensing videos? What can I do wrong? Am I selling dildos on the legal net or something and saying it's something else? What am I doing, Rick? Explain it to me. I mean, the only thing I'm somewhat guilty of, or actually I'm guilty of it, because they deserve it, is fucking over big companies and fucking over TV licensing. That's it. They're all civil debts and nothing to do with the police. So, you know, fuck you. That's all I have to say, fuck you. Yeah, if, if, it's, if it's the TV licensing thing, I mean, Jacob's up, we literally have like, how many videos, like a billion, billion TV licensing videos out there? It's already out there, it's already public domain. And, you know, I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not watching live television or anything. So, come at me, bro, come at me, bro. What have you got against me? Please let me know. Um, but you don't have anything, so I don't think that will do it. And yeah, you've got to respond to it, but we will keep responding to you as much as you respond to us. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, that's the end of it. But uh, yeah. <sighs> Is it true what I said? It, it doesn't matter if you feed your dog or whatever, you can still be somewhat mm. a dog abuser. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just, just because your dog's like well fed or anything like doesn't doesn't mean you're listening you're looking after 100 percent i mean anisian was feeding his fucking feeding his turtle and then he did then he did then he lifted to cook in the sun for two hours and it baked to death literally and then his dogs you I know don't, i don't really i don't really know what happened to his dogs i don't know what really happened to his dog nibbles so i can't really comment on that mm. but he's probably done something behind their back and all mm. i mean you give all this persona of oh i'm this innocent guy but in real reality, you're nothing more than the crock, mate. Sorry. Tally-ho. Bye-bye.